It's the holiday season and it feels like it. 29 degrees on this clear cold night in Baltimore. And MT Bank Stadium is the site for Monday Night Football. Yellow. Oh, hi there. Really? Wow, I'm honored. Who's playing? Ugh. Oh, n yikes. No, yeah, yeah, Brett Favre is a lot of fun to watch. Oh, yeah, I am kind of busy. I do have this thing coming up, but... No, 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 you're right, you're right. It's Monday night. What better chance to tell everyone on your Christmas list? Are you ready for some football? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that misses Claus. <laughs> Not easy to ignore, but the Ravens make you say, nevermore. The fans are up for the ride of their life. They're coming off the line for a showdown tonight. From home, the Baltimore Ravens are 0 7 this year, but in this ballpark, MT Bank Stadium, they are 4 2, and they come out onto the field in front of a full house to watch Brett Favre and the Green Bay Packers take on their Ravens on Monday Night Football. 219th consecutive regular season start coming up with Brett Favre and here we go from Baltimore we start with an immediate flag from Tom White's crew so you're going to get an offside on the opening kickoff offside number 56 on a kicking team they have elected to take the five yard penalty from the end of the play first down Favre out of the shotgun Ravens show blitz here they come it's picked up and then Favre throws off his back foot and the pass is incomplete. Play last week. <laughs> they might be. They found a loophole. We'll talk about that play and it helped win the game against Detroit as the kick is fielded by Sands and Sands escapes. About four Packers had a shot at him and finally he's dragged down from behind at the 18 yard line. Bowler quarterback, the running back is Jamal Lewis. Powell will go to the air, throws underneath, checks off, and hits Lewis. Coming out of the backfield, he takes it to the 11-yard line. The left guard. First and goal now from the 15. Bowler is under pressure. Flushed out. On the run inside the 10. And then gets banged out of bounds at the 6-yard line by Nick Collins. They feel they really need touchdowns in this game. Three wides here to the back of the end zone. They go for a touchdown. Todd Heath. The tight end and Bowler's favorite target over the last three seasons. This is an interesting defense here, Al. It's four defensive linemen, four linebackers, and only three defensive backs. And this is Sam Condado, the rookie sensation at a Liberty University. Pro Bowl, Reed and Samari Roll. Third down and nine. Out of the gun, underneath. Henderson makes the catch. M&T Bank Stadium from the 25-yard line, and it's a draw play, and this is Jamal Lewis swinging to the outside and picking up the first down. One of the few long runs of late for Lewis. This way will be your living rooms. He was the number one draft choice out of Oklahoma. And he's really come on, and that pass is caught by Derek Mason, the longtime Titan. He's going to look for a flag on a face mask goal, and he's going to get one as well as Al Harris. Personal foul, grasping inside the helmet at the face mask, number 37. We have to distance to the goal. First down. Very good season. Look at this formation yeah. here, Al. Mark Bowler split out. With Bowler split out, the snap goes to Clayton, and number one draft choice who goes around the corner and gets into the end zone. So teams have been running that all year long. 
during the game. Patriots and the Jets next Monday night. Lamar Carroll will run the kickback from the 12 yard line. And this is exactly what Green Bay needs to try to get back into the game. But sure enough, there is a flag. Because it's Personal going against foul, the Ravens. Low block, number three during the return. 15 yard penalty. First down. That's the kicker. Dropped the seven right into the end zone. Ryan Long off for a 27 yard field goal attempt that is good. So it's all set up. By Carroll's run back plus the penalty. They're on the board of the Packers down by 11. Top two guys who will both be free agents next year on injured reserve. Far to the fullback Henderson across the 50. And William Henderson takes the ball to the 43 yard line for a Green Bay first down tackled by Bart Scott. And the Davis Thomas is a bright guy. And in phenomenal shape. Third down and 14. Far rolling. Point to Central Favre, and then he throws into traffic and has it intercepted at the three-yard line. Buying time, going to the sideline, launching it, and Robert Ferguson, the intended receiver, with Samari Roll picking it off. The pass of the night, third down and eight. Out of the shotgun, pressure is on, fires it over the middle, caught. Todd Heath, who scored an earlier touchdown, with Jonathan Ogden. He's been eight consecutive Pro Bowls. As Boulder swings it to the outside. To win the game, if we do that, other things will fall into play. A lot of us are old-fashioned in that regard. On second and six, Heap having a big night, scored a touchdown. The Packers are number one in pass defense, but that doesn't mean they're the best pass defense in the league. Simply a statistical measure, and that pass is caught by Derek Mason. And Mason to the 20-yard line before he's thrown out of bounds by Nick Collins. Third and four. This is the 16th play of a drive that has consumed almost eight and a half minutes. And into the end zone, and it's one-handed and caught by Randy Hines, who got position on Ahmad Carroll and holds it in for the touchdown. Look at the height advantage that Hines has. He's six foot three, so. Kyle Bowler knows if you get him out there one on one they come in a blitz he knows I'm going to have one on one out there I got the height advantage I'm just going to throw a jump ball and if you're going to throw a jump ball first and 10 Tony Fisher is running back Gano probably will not play at least for the rest of the half and over the middle far throws to driver who takes a shot but gets up Ed Reed. Situation. Farber is 9 out of 16, moves those shoulders to avoid the sack, and then throws into triple coverage, and it is picked off by Deion Sanders. Well, it's prime time. It's Monday Night Football. It's probably the last time Deion will play on Monday Night Football. 250th pick of Brett's career. Now Boulder throws, and that is caught at the 31-yard line by Todd Heath. Three wideouts here. Packers show blitz. They come. Quick flip to Heath, and Heath escapes a tackle, gets inside the 10. It's going to be first down and goal. And try and get a hand up in that lane. 23 yard attempt for Matt Stover, one of the original Ravens, and he goes back to the Cleveland years as well. To have a lot more of it than the Packers did. First down and 10. Over throws. Todd Heath makes the catch. Third and two. Good throw, caught. Clayton slips a tackle, picks up a first down, the number one draft choice. Taylor's the running back, third down and one. And they flip it back to Chester Taylor. And he's going to get it. And he gets ridden out of bounds. 27 yard line, 9.49 to go in the third period. Bowler, deep. Heat makes the catch. He takes it away from Roman for the touchdown. Second touchdown of the night for Todd Heat. This one 27 yards. How the atmosphere in this stadium tonight because the Ravens look great. And you have a flag here as Robert Ferguson makes the catch. Looks like the Ravens all night have been playing at one level. Number 89, offense. 10 yard penalty remains first down. Offensive on Ferguson. For pushing off. And, and the Packers have been playing another level. Right. And the running back and the running game, you know, have been such a big part of the Packer offense lately. Far to the outside. First and 20. Perrin is the running back. Chapman 
has really come to it. And as you say, it's not going to. It's not going to be clear cut. And cash is made by Donnelly. I mean, those, those are two things that I believe that he won't do. And that's caught over the middle by Donald Driver. And Donald Driver, with his biggest play of the night, takes it to the 23-yard line. And you saw the reaction with Favre as he went back to the huddle. Now it's fourth down after the timeout. And on fourth and ten, that pass is incomplete and nearly intercepted. A good living there. Well, they're not mutually exclusive. I think you can work on the property. The pass is caught by Mason. And Derek Mason across the 50 gets a nice block from Randy Himes. The 44 with a minute to 40 to play in the period. Lewis. And Jamal Lewis, all season long, he had only two runs of 15 or more yards. And tonight, Lewis with a couple of them in this game alone. Out in front of him and earlier. It's always good to have a Mark Clayton as a receiver. Just ask Dan Marino. Matt Stover with a 40-yard field goal. ESPN will follow the game. Highlights interviews and all of the rest. And let's see about Aaron Rodgers. From the 44-yard line, second down and nine, and here they come from the outside, and Rodgers is going to get sacked, and John circled Thomas, and the ball is loose, and it's picked up by Bart Scott, and there's been no whistle. So after the third turnover, Lewis takes Roman for a little ride, a nine-yard ride. Scoring team in the lead, three yards away from going into the 40s. Raven signal touchdown, but nobody in the striped shirt until now. When the headlinesman comes in and says, "You're over, Lewis." Right, and he was the he was a shot putter there, mm -hmm. and he was a track man in high school. Flag down on the kickoff. Ahmad Carroll to the 40-yard line. It's a team player. He said, "My work here is done." I think that just about answers it. Yeah, that does. On fourth and eight, and that is caught. Third down and goal. The ball is at the 13 yard line. Rodgers pressure throws and that's picked off in the end zone. And Chad Williams is going to run around for a little while but uh, take a knee. Baltimore. And Bowler is done for the night. So you're going to see Anthony Wright at quarterback and he's going to hand the ball to Chester Taylor who gets banged out of bounds. Maybe that's the way we have to go on the trail. Third and one. And Bowler has it taken away. And it's Thomas who winds up with it after Chad Williams dislodged the football. And with 17 seconds remaining, Baltimore adds six more. And even easier after tonight's game. Tony Fisher will run out the clock, and that's going to do it. So the Baltimore Ravens turn this one into no contest. Score early, often, and went by a score of 48 to 3. We've got the autotrader.com postgame show coming up right after this.